I thought an art school would be more um, industrial and to come on this place with these giant, giant Sitka trees. You just walk around and look at these trees and go, wow. The setting is pretty special, actually. Um, you can sort of get away from uh, the daily commute of the city. Here at Sitka, one of the nice things is that you see lots of different kinds of art taking place. There's photography, there's watercolor, oil painting, glass work. And so oftentimes when the students are here, when I'm here, I get to get exposed to other kinds of work and uh, things that people are doing. I have never been to a workshop here. This is my first workshop. I'm in the Katazomi workshop. And so far we've made stencils and we've created a paste that is the resist that we use on the stencils and we've been painting and trying to create beautiful textiles. <laughs> we kept watching. My name is Judy Bogland and I am teaching sand painting, uh, what we're calling 101, and mixed media. Well, this is my eighth year at Sitka. My 35th year of teaching sand painting, however. A lot of these students are uh, students that I've had uh, as high school students at 17 and 18 and they're coming back and they're 50 and 55 years old. I've been at Sitka uh, teaching some of the same students now about four or five times because they keep coming back to this particular class. By training I'm an architect. So in architecture we sort of build things up and in sculpture, I mean in this kind of sculpture where you're working with a piece of wood or even stone, you're taking things away. So you start with this solid block of material and you've got to figure out how to subtract stuff, leaving what you want as the final image. And that's different than adding stuff. And so it's a different way of thinking about three-dimensional objects, you know, which is kind of a challenge. One of the things that attracted me to this particular class was who the instructor is. Um, because ever I've I learned about uh, Roy Stetzel way back in the 70s when I learned that Monica was sort of picking up you know, not where he left off, but her own, in her own way. And it was in teaching this, I thought it was a pretty interesting opportunity to sort of see that kind of work from a different perspective. Um, my name is Heather Fortner, and I'm teaching a workshop called New Dimensions in Giyutaku. It's, Giyutaku is printing a fish. We're not just printing fish, we're printing seaweeds, we're dyeing our paper, and then we're doing a final mount onto canvas or board. At my class for Giyutaku, most people have never done it. They've heard of it and they've always thought, well, I'd like to try that. However, in, in my class, I do have um, two very experienced uh, Giyutaku artists who are currently selling their work and want to advance in, their, in that profession. It's really cool. We're not just printing fish, we're also printing seaweed and we're manipulating paper in a way that makes it look like there are encaustics and waves and things like that. So it's a complete immersion in the world of the fish. I think the setting is much nicer than most any other place that I've been. The other workshops I take tend to be you know, a day here or a day there, but the three days really concentrating on a particular subject is wonderful. This is exactly my part of the world. So to come here and be inspired by the things that I've used as imagery and have them all around me is really a very special experience for me as an instructor. What I love about the workshops at Sitka is the wonderful creative environment that's here. And the being surrounded by nature, there's a special energy here. To me, Sitka means a wonderful opportunity to be in a very special setting and to work with students uh, in a concentrated way and uh, watch them develop their own abilities. It's a fantastic opportunity.